There is a huge scandal in the ranks of the Russian occupation army. A group of experienced drone pilots of the Russian army was transferred to attack aircraft and thrown to certain death. Dialogue UA media outlet looked into the details of the scandal. One of those zeroed out was a drone operator, Dmitry Lysakovsky, call sign Goodwin, who was quite well known in the ranks of Z Patriots and had been fighting against Ukraine since 2014. After a quarrel with the command, he was transferred to the stormtroopers as punishment and sent one way. Having learned about this, the occupier recorded a video with a comrade accusing the commander Igor Puzik, call sign Zloy, of protecting the drug business as well as working for Washington. Goodwin and his comrades were well aware that they had been sentenced to death. Despite this, they meekly went on the assault from which they never returned. We received the task today to go into infantry formations without explanation of the reasons, although we know them very well. Zloy who had fallen out of love with us, being absolutely stupid, not understanding what he himself wants, a hysterical person, sent us with such a task. Many people began to notify us that we were leaving one way. We decided to go, because there is an oath, there is a homeland, there is a duty. Various things flourish under the wing of Comrade Zloy. The entire command, at least the senior ones, takes a percentage from the drug trade. Their task is to make sure that we do not survive. Apparently, from somewhere in the Washington Regional Committee came an order to eliminate the best calculation of the UAV of the aircraft type, which regularly supplied intelligence information. All the information that we delivered is slowed down at the level of the regiment commander and the chief of staff did not go higher, so that the targets of the Ukrainian army are not destroyed. If it suddenly happens that something goes wrong with us, not that sideways, if we don't come back from there, then this recording will be proof that we were right, Goodwin said in the video with his colleague. A huge betrayal is growing in Z channels regarding the liquidation of the heroes of Novorossiya. Russian state propaganda is trying to hush up the scandal. Thus, Yuri Podolyaka demanded to stop dispersing the TSIPSO. The scandal was commented on by Ukrainian journalist and blogger Denis Kazansky. He considers this story very illustrative. Lysakovsky was an ideological person and quite effectively set up the work of the UAV, but fortunately for us, the Russian world is built on hatred and malice of everyone towards everyone, and everyone there always eats each other. His last messages are very revealing. Lysakovsky writes that the commander is sending him and Ernest on a one-way meat assault so that they die. He is sending them because they simply turned out to be inconvenient. At the same time, there is no attempt to rebel against such an order. Goodwin and Ernest claim that their regiment commander is protecting drug trafficking, but instead of shooting him in the knee, they obediently went to the slaughter and died because there is an oath and there is a homeland, he wrote. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un embraced Russia's former defense minister Sergei Shoigu on a visit to Pyongyang, according to photos released by the North State News Agency KCNA early Saturday. The meeting took place the day before, on September 13. North Korean state media often report news a day or more after it happens. Shoigu's visit follows a high-profile visit by President Vladimir Putin to Pyongyang in June this year. One of the images from KCNA shows Kim in the driver's seat of a luxury car, which has a Mercedes logo on its front, and appears to have bulletproof protection, with Shoigu in the passenger seat. The former Soviet Union invaded Korea at the end of the Second World War and installed its leadership and supported its establishment as a separate Korean state in 1948. Countries in Central Europe were, Friday, bracing, for heavy rain and flooding. A low-pressure system that was formed in northern Italy has moved to Central Europe and is predicted to stay till Sunday and dump rainfall that meteorologists said could reach nearly record levels in some places, causing floods. The Czech Republic, Poland, Austria, Germany, Slovakia, Hungary, Slovenia and Croatia are to be among the countries to be affected. The Czechs, Poles and Germans are particularly worried about what might come as experts are comparing the current weather condition to the one in 1997 that caused devastating flooding in the wider region. At that time some referred to it as a 1,000-year flood or the flood of the century. 
Over 100 people were killed in Central Europe in those floods, 50 of them in Eastern Czech Republic where large sections of the land was inundated. In the Czech Republic, local authorities were erecting metal barriers or protective walls from sandbags. Water was released from dams to make space in reservoirs to help contain the floods. Citizens have been warned to get ready for possible evacuations. The biggest rainfalls were predicted for the eastern half of the country where they could reach the 1997 levels. The second largest city of Brno is among the places that have not yet built complex protection against flooding like Prague. Czechs were asked not to go to parks and woods as high winds up to 100 km per hour are forecast. Many public events planned for the weekend have been cancelled at the request of the authorities throughout the country, including soccer matches in the top two leagues. We have to be ready for the worst-case scenarios, Prime Minister Petra Fiala said after a meeting of his government's Central Crisis Committee. The wet forecast follows a hot start to September in the region as the world is just coming out of its hottest summer on record, breaking a record set just one year ago, and many scientists say 2024 could also become the hottest year on record. A hotter atmosphere, driven by human-caused climate change, can hold more moisture and can lead to more intense rainfall.